A pet ferret chewed off several fingers of a four-month-old baby. And today, that child's mother learned her punishment for leaving the child alone. Carrie Waldo of Grain Valley wiped away tears in the Jackson County Courthouse as the judge read her sentence. And Lisa Benson spent the afternoon in the courthouse. She has details now new at 5. Lisa? Well, Carrie Waldo said nothing in court. Her attorney told the court she had not completed a drug treatment program, and the judge told her she was going to jail. 27-year-old Carrie Waldo walked into a Jackson County courtroom, a free woman, and walked out in handcuffs. The judge sentenced the mother of five to 30 days of shock time, a one-year suspended sentence, and two years of probation. Waldo pleaded guilty to endangering the welfare of her child. You may recall, Waldo's four-month-old son lost seven fingers in January of 2011 because a pet ferret chewed them off in their Grain Valley home. Initially, Waldo told investigators she and her husband were asleep. Investigators disagreed. We have reason to believe possibly that the parents may not have even been in the area of the home when this could have been taking place. Waldo has also been ordered to complete a 30-day drug treatment program, an order she failed to fulfill before sentencing. She's indicated to me that it was not possible for her to do it. The couple's five children, including the young victim, are currently staying with relatives. The judge ordered Waldo to stay away. Now, Carrie's husband, Ryan Waldo, pleaded guilty in March to second-degree child endangerment. He was ordered to serve 40 hours of community service and to have no contact with the children during his two years of probation. In the newsroom, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.